This video is for educated porpoises only. So if you aren't an educated porpoise, you should probably click off the video. You are now listening to Makarosu 8299. No, you're listening to some random guy on the internet. That was just a song. Anyway, there's been a lack of videos for my channel lately. That could be contributed to extreme procrastination or overall laziness, but I personally blame Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, not my lack of basic self-control. Breath of the Wild's got me. I can't put it down, but because I don't own a capture card, I can't record any gameplay for my Wii U to bring to my many, many, many loyal, loving subscribers. And my channel's kind of focused on PC games anyway, but I really had to find a way to cash in on all that Zelda hype. So naturally, tutorial. If you're still with me, this is the most time-consuming part of the entire process. So really think about how much you want this. Oh, these motherfuckers are gonna get it. <laughs> when you're doing this. Everything's in the description, uh, hopefully in some kind of order. You're going to need Simu itself, which is the emulator. Extract it preferably to an SSD. You should get this. Cool, now close it because we've got a lot to cover. Simu hook works alongside Simu. Basically all it does is fix the cutscenes so they're viewable. Why this isn't a part of Simu, I will never know. Just put the DLL file in the same folder as the Simu exe. To avoid any issues with the man, I'm not gonna link to places where you can find these things, but a little Google foo can go a long way. Avoid any shaders over 9k and Reddit is your best friend. I can show you how to install them if you do manage to find them. Game data can be put anywhere really. I just made a Wii U folder in my SSD and stuck it in there. Shaders go in your Simu folder and shader cache transferable. Put the bin in there and delete anything in the pre-compiled folder. If you aren't familiar with shader caching, basically shaders are just like the lighting and texture information in the game. Simu will cache that and stores it in a file that can be quickly read. Without caching, Simu would have to rewrite that information every time it comes across something in the game. And that process is pretty intensive and will cause the emulation to stutter pretty badly. But using the power of the internet, we can download a cache someone else has already mostly completed so we don't have to wait around for Simu's slow ass. There are a few graphics packs floating around if your GPU can handle it. I recommend downloading the 4K graphics pack, anti-alias remover, and high-res shadows for the best experience. If you don't know your way around GitHub, just click the clone or download button and choose zip. Then do some basic dragging and dropping to where you installed Simu. Look for the graphics pack folder and put the stuff from GitHub in there. Then you can just reopen Simu, go to options, graphics packs, and check the boxes. And close Simu again because we're not done. Maple Seed is used to update your Legend of Zelda game to the newest version. First time you launch Maple Seed, you'll want to point it to the folders with Simu and Legend of Zelda. Go ahead and relaunch, then right click Breath of the Wild and update. You can also add DLC from here, but I haven't messed with that. Navigate to Game Profiles in the Simu folder. If you're using the United States version of the game, right click on the INI ending in 9400 and open in a text editor. In here, you can enable various tweaks. This is what I have running, so just pause the video and copy it over. If you have an Intel CPU, like an i5 or an i7, you have a hyper-threaded chip. Basically, this means you have four physical real cores in your CPU and four that are emulated on top because those four real cores in there are so fucking badass, they can just do that. But as badass as they are, Simu doesn't like the emulated cores, so we need to make sure it only uses the physical ones. Hit Control shift escape to bring up the task manager. Make sure you have Simu running so it shows up on the list. I know some idiot will leave this comment. Go to the details tab and right click Simu. Change CPU priority to like above normal or high. And then go to affinity and change the cores to 0, 2, 4, and 6 and then hit OK. If you're on an AMD chip, you don't need to do this but you still may want to change priority to high or above normal. Right click on the desktop to bring up the NVIDIA control panel. Go to adjust image settings with preview. Select the advanced 3D image settings and click on take me there. Go to the program settings and add Simu to the list. Most of this can be on default. Just change the multi-display setting to single display performance mode. Power management to prefer maximum power. Turn off shader cache and turn off VSync. 
And I actually think that's everything. Now we can open up Simu, turn on a couple more things, and jump into Breath of the Wild. First up, go to CPU, Mode, and Single Core Recompiler. Then over to the Options, GPU Buffer Cache Accuracy, set that to Low. You also might want to set up a controller here in the input settings while you're at it. This is what I'm using for an Xbox One controller. Now just load the RPX and wait for the shaders to compile. Thanks for watching. Check some links in the description for some more information because I will probably not help you if you have any questions. I'm just being honest. Like and subscribe!